All right, Kate, what do we got next here? Yeah, so up here we have a Reizu, and it might be for you if you really love um, just a beautiful, compact uh, growth habit to it. Um, I really love also the salmon pink color that it starts out with in the screen. It just has um, such a you know beautiful, pretty, and pink color to it. Yeah, not to be confused, there's a lot of Ryus in maples. Ryu means dragon. You'll see Ryu 2, Ryu Zoo. Ryuman, there's a lot of Ryus going on. Ryuzu, a fun, compact dwarf, y'all. You're gonna love this one for its habit. It fits well in any of the Makawa gardens. That density's nice. It's a great pairing uh, with something like Kurohime that we had before on a tent and Lovely, kind of a green version of that, if you will. Absolutely love it, though. That pink flush in the spring is really nice. It's a fun one for a container garden as well. I say that a lot, but that, that dense, small habit to it lends itself very well for a small container garden. Another fun pairing for this one, shape-wise, would be something like Hime Sojo, which would which look really nice with this. I would look, I could really picture that in a garden, that'd be beautiful. But um, I also just love these ones that have so many different colors to them. You know, starting out with that pink to the, you know, dark color that it gets in the summer, and then the beautiful bright orange fall color that it gets. It's really fun to see maples throughout the year. I've never seen this one done as a bonsai, but you do get some really small foliage on the older growth, which would be really cool. So it might make a cool bonsai, although it's, it would be a rare one for that. These are grafted, but it'd be a fun experiment. Love this one for its stature. Uh, you know, that smaller habit, it's got a lot of great spaces in the garden. So a lot of places are looking for smaller, more compact. If you're a collector of like Kiyohimes, gotta get you a Ryu Zoo. Yeah, get in the collection. <laughs>